Well, this is uh, Project Ultimate uh, 83 Rabbit GTI Part 2, and here's my rotisserie that I've built for uh, flipping the car around. I can move it upside down and whatever I need to service it. So, really small garage. You can, I'll back out a little bit. You can see I have a pretty small garage, a little workshop over there. Only a seven foot door, really tight fit. And I still managed to build this thing so I could flip the, the, the car. So it's just made out of a, a two, double two by six uh, header and uh, four by fours and just some uh, important bracing around. And because uh, of my ceiling height problems and the fact that the come alongs that I used are fairly long, well, they're normal come alongs, but uh, I needed to get the hooks up higher. So I sort of fabricated some brackets up above that uh, are strong and uh, I can hook up the bumpers. You see, I've sacrificed a set of bumpers to uh, to put some bolts through the mounting points and uh, use them to uh, to pull on the car. So right now, I've got both come-alongs attached to uh, the one side, just as, a, and then I've got an extra safety in orange there, just to protect it. So you know, it works. The car is absolutely stable. I can see everything I need to see now. And I can get at uh, scraping all this endless uh, seam sealer off under here and uh, I'll get to it basically. So it's uh, a big relief to have this done. I had a few false starts just because of the tight fit in here. And uh, when I started to lift the car, I was noticing things moving and I had to put extra bracing in. Uh, but now she's good. And, uh, you know, like basically no room. Uh, to spare given how small the garage is so I can flip it but uh, only with about two or three inches uh, on the bottom which is uh, more than enough but just enough. Alright, over now.